Hi, my name is Steve Siegel from Michigan, U.S. I've been a musician for about 50 years and been doing digital recording for about 10. Today I'm going to explain amplitude envelope on a synthesizer. Here we have the amplitude envelope module which changes the sound as a function of time. The shape of a synthesizer's envelope is controlled by attack, decay, sustain, and release parameters, or more commonly known as ADSR. And these envelopes can be applied to various aspects of a synth sound, such as pitch, filter cutoff frequency, and in this case, what I'm showing today, the overall amplitude. Attack is the start or onset of the initial transient sound. It controls the time necessary for the sound to reach full volume after pressing a key. Decay is the roll off of the sound's waveform just after the peak of the initial attack. It's the time it takes to get from full value down to the sustained level. Sustain is the consistent volume of the sound sustained over the duration of time while a key is held down. This level represents kind of a steady state that the note stays at while it's being held. And release is the length of time for the sound to end after the key is released. The amount of time it takes to get from the sustain level down to zero. Okay, now I'm going to give some examples of how this is used. The first one we call a switch and this can be used for an organ sound. It's a sound that just goes on and off like a switch. For this we'll put the attack at zero, the decay down to about this level, the sustain will be all the way up and a little further and the release will we'll also put it zero. Here's how it sounds. You see it sound starts and stops with the key. Okay the next type of sound I'm going to demonstrate is a percussive sound. This would be used for drums or percussive type of sounds. We'll keep our attack low. We'll bring our decay up a little bit and uh, sustain. Uh, we'll bring the sustain down to about there and release can be about here. So let's see how this sounds. Has it has a hard initial impact, which uh, would be good for drums or percussion. It fades away quickly. The next type of sound is the damped percussive. This would be for a piano or other type of keyboard sound. We're going to have a relatively low attack. A a moderately low decay, a long sustain, and a medium release. Let's see how that sounds. The next sound is the sustaining or a blown or bowed sound. We have a low attack, a decay is not so important, high sustain, and a moderate release. Sounds like a bowed string instrument or a woodwind. Finally we're going to have the quirk sound. Cut the attack all the way down to zero. The decay pretty much leave where it is. Sustain will also come down to zero. And release we're going to set right at the top. This gives a sound that
if you hit it quickly, you get a sustain on it. But if you hold the key down, you just get a single note, a quick note. Okay, that's the end of my project. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something. And wish you luck on your projects. And maybe we'll catch you down the road.